All right, another segment here live at Jackalope 2016 here in Bacchus Meadow. Oh, it's a beautiful part of Arizona. It, uh, what is it, about 80 degrees? Yeah, yeah. And considering it's monsoon season, not too much humidity. We heard a thunder. Yeah. It's Odin, Odin was, we, you know, he was making his presence known. Yeah, he did. ways than one. He did. So, just, be, the Odin is a good segue, because what we're going to talk about in this brief segment is, uh, Joe in Hawaii who called the show a couple months ago and got a marijuana charge, two marijuana charges thrown out. Dismissed. Yes, it was without prejudice, but it was dismissed. He so, must not be a user. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, because, you know, what is he going up against? He's going up a, uh, against a law degree. Yeah. And, and, and actually, it's two, 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 two law degrees. And that guy rules snake eyes, that lucky? Or maybe, you know? Well, he, 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 I am going to link, I have a link in the article for this video, so you can go to Joe's when Joe explains it. Because he's got the personal first hand knowledge, I just got a document. But the document says a lot. Now, I will have the graphic up there somewhere. Well, it says a little, but it says everything. It says, uh, yeah. It says it all. Uh, now, it took a long time. It took a long time. Took, I think it took about a year. Was that how long this case was from start to finish? Yeah. From door down to walking out the court? Yeah, they raided his home. That's a, yeah, a year of his life. They, this, he only got yeah, so many, you know this, what I mean? They, they raided his home. Right. They raided his home. This is pot. This is marijuana. What are you? It, it, well, what, what's, well, you know those pot users. They just go out on rampages and... Uh, well, if, we, if we could get behind, you know, some footage behind... Behind the banner, yeah, you could see them rampaging. Oh, yeah, the complete disorder around oh, here is just gosh, off the Oh, my gosh, it's terrible. Charts. Everyone's got their doors unlocked, their equipment just sitting out. But uh, it, 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 was, it was more than a parking ticket, more than a traffic ticket. So a drug charge... It, Seriously, it's, it's felony, wasn't it? It wasn't a No. Oh, it was not a felony. It should have been, but like Joe said... They, didn't they, they didn't bring it back with different charges? Was that what it was? Well, what they did was they, they only charged him for just under a pound. Okay. And because if it had well, that's been, what they charged him with, I guess. They charged him so it was easier to prosecute. Oh, uh, well. Right? We'll they, see how that turned out. Because they right. either have to indict you or, or do a criminal complaint, and with that comes a prelim. And Joe's got a pretty good reputation there. You don't want Now, he doesn't take it laying down. No, because the prelim, I recommended everybody get the prelim, do it, cross-examine the witnesses. It, 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 hey, that's what Randy in Idaho did at the prelim, cross-examined the cop got it thrown out so please it don't works. hire a, a, get the prelim if you're going to make a deal at least do it after the prelim for heaven's sakes get some leverage show that the prosecution doesn't have a competent witness and you'll have a transcript to prove it the prosecutor will say the witness is incompetent they do it every time so he filed a motion to dismiss which i, I got to cover some criticism which is what this this is about i never apparently ever give the basis of the paperwork. I'm going to say it again. The motion to dismiss is based on several issues of fact. That there isn't evidence of territorial, subject matter, or personum jurisdiction. Person this is coming from a critic? Yes, several. Well, but they're not. Coming didn't, didn't we talk previously about how some critics have very weak or unfounded criticisms? That's right. I so, think this is in that category. They're not saying. And disputing yeah. that we got it thrown out. These are people who just seem to be... Didn't give the basis. That, why? How can we do this? You tune into one show, you'll one get the show. basis. One show. That's it, yeah. And you only need ten minutes. It, yeah. Because it's the opener, usually. <laughs> it's in the first segment. We're, one show, first it, segment. Yeah, we're always talking about that. No and every basis. Time someone, no basis. Yeah, and no, every time someone calls, we go through it again. And we do role-playing <laughs> on almost every show. Could you be any more clear? I, mean, I, I, I don't think so. But I want to dispel that myth. I want to say it again. It's a it's an issue of fact based on a lack of evidence proving territorial subject matter and persona of jurisdiction because that is based on the claim, the accusation. If I'm physically in Arizona, which it is gorgeous today, if I am physically in Arizona, their laws apply to me, right? And that's that the is claim. The, that's, that's the claim. That's what they'll tell you. And that's territorial it's on the record. Territorial jurisdiction. It's in the name territory. Right, so I, I wish I, there's I'll, little to figure out. You yeah. really can't interpret your way out of that. Yeah, right, so it's very easy to. Understand. So what we do is show that the prosecution only has a an allegation; they don't have any actual evidence to back up that claim. And because of 
the, there's no evidence that the Constitution laws apply. There's no evidence of subject matter jurisdiction and a valid cause of action. So there's the explanation again. That follows. If you buy government indictment, you got Hey, let's shirt. get some shameless, shameless self-advertisement self It's here. all in there. In fact, all the information is on the website markstevens.net. It might be a book there. virgin. I learned that term recently. Have oh, you heard that? A no. book virgin? Well, you, know, you can probably guess what it is. Uh, yeah. Someone who's entering college without having ever flipped to the conclusion of a full story. Maybe they wrote a few pages in class here and there, but there are book virgins that get into college. They actually get accepted into college. It's, it's a step. Well, See, hey, when you uh, flood the, the, the college market with so much money, you know, open up access to everybody, the standards kind of go down just a little bit, just a little bit. Well, you don't want you have book virgins. Because, yeah, because you don't, you can't have the college rating go down because you can't get as many people to qualify. You can't charge as so much money. But to get to. Not to say that this critic is a book virgin, but you no, know, it's I, in the book. It's well, in the book. I'm going to say that the, the people who always do this on every video, I'm going to say they're honest critics. They just want the information. Fine. MarkStevens.net, government indicted, listen to the show. And. Um, that's what Joe did, and I also recommend that we file a motion to, uh, with the motion, I, I send out, when you order it, you get the instructions to do the Brady request and the discovery request. Now, I know it may Joe be did premature. Both? Joe did both. Okay. And he was always bringing up, every appearance he was bringing up, where is the evidence to prove that your laws apply to me? Who is the competent witness with personal knowledge of that? Hey, if, I'm, if, 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 if the cop is going to testify against me that the Constitution laws apply to me, the rules say, Rule 602, the witness has to have personal knowledge of that. Where is his personal knowledge? What? Oh, because Odin said so? <laughs> Did Odin visit you personally, sir? Coming down from on high. Did you personally visit Odin and have him give you this? I gotta wonder too, how many podcasts, uh, how many books, times did, he, did Joe have to read through your books to actually get that line of questioning down? I don't think it was every podcast. No. I don't think it was every book. No. In it, fact, I think there might be a chance he never read your book, but just understood, followed you know your line of questioning on any given show, generally. It's a, really, it's the same, you know, half a dozen questions, you know, being asked over and over in, in, yeah. in different, you know, and, and the same challenges being met. It probably didn't take him an insane amount of learning. It, he didn't go to school for it, um, well, but he, he was able to understand. You the know, role when, play. when you ask for facts and you don't get a factual response, yeah, you know that works to your advantage. He, he did the role can, playing. That's on, your pressure point. Yeah, he did the role playing on the No Stay Project Skype chat. That helps. It's the Socratic method. It, you're just asking questions. Most of what we're doing is not just going over the questions. They're easy. They're, it's the same few questions. It's how you are responding and how you're objecting to the non-response. That's what really. Right is the meat of what you know we do in a role playing which if you contact me at Frank Rizzo 3 we well, put we you into the chat we, we put you into the chat so uh, he was always pushing that point so we'll put up in the graphic if it's not there right now that it was eventually dismissed the prosecution could not present the evidence could not produce any company witness and the judge granted the motion to dismiss he dismissed the, the, the complaint so I want to address some of the the criticisms in a little more detail Let's hear which we've already done the biggest criticism is yes the motion to dismiss was granted but it had nothing to do with the motion to dismiss or and that it, it had nothing to do with the judge thought that there was any merit to it well my first response going back to what we said earlier, but for the motion to dismiss, how did this thing Lee walk its way out of court? Yeah. And I, th I the answer you know, speaks for itself. It's it's right there for you. It, you don't have to say. I mean, it's obvious without the motion to dismiss. You know, so it's you know that one's just too easy. It's it's it's. Yeah. Know, it's, yeah. So you go by the circumstantial evidence. You have a very <clears throat> serious charge, criminal charge against Joe. For almost a year, they will not give him an inch. They weren't budging. They weren't budging. This was persistent. Very persistent. Yeah. If so, they found a path, if there was a way to success, they would have taken it. Yeah. If if they could have convicted him, they would have done it. If they would have had a way to put up this evidence, they would have done it. They put a lot of time and resources into it. Yeah. And they could not. Just give me the name of your qualified witness. 602 is very straightforward. No one may testify unless there is evidence showing they have personal knowledge of the matters they are testifying to. Show me some personal knowledge of the Constitution applying to me because I'm physically in Arizona. Somebody explain this to me. You can say, oh, we don't need evidence. Explain away Rule 602. Explain away Rule 602. Are we just going to pretend like that doesn't exist? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it must not apply in a government right, attack. Right. Oh, Rules. no, it doesn't apply there. 
So why? So the prosecutors tend to impeach their own witness anyway, which we use obviously. To which our, is just I, I, every time I hear that, I just chuckle. I mean, because <laughs> yeah, so y you, you think they'd be better than that? Yeah. That they wouldn't be impeaching their own witness. So this is the way we get the witness to claim incompetent by the prosecution. So you're the pro uh, you're the you're the cop. Did you determine on your own? That just because I'm physically in Arizona, the Constitution laws apply, and I had you had jurisdiction to do a stop. Yes, I did. Yeah. Do you have any proof that the Constitution applies to me just because I'm physically here in Arizona? See, and that's when the pro objection. Right. The witness is not qualified right. to testify, or objection outside the scope of the witness's t uh, expertise. But he just but he what's the just answer? said. You, you know what was on the tip of my tongue? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. That's the honest answer, because no, I don't have the of evidence. Of course there's no I evidence. I know what applies. It's been told to me. It's been, I've been trained. Okay. I've been told that. Right. So, I, yeah, I, that's what I believe. The facts I have for that are zero. Zero. Yeah, look, and, and, and just because you learn science doesn't make you a scientist. You know, not everyone who graduates high school learns science is a scientist. These guys, they're just going off, off what they learned. They're a cop. They're a law, a law enforcement. It's what they've chosen to do with their life by yep. some... Uh, cascade of events, you know, they, they couldn't find anything better. Um, there, there's much more voluntary services. Look at Detroit, you know, they, they found a way to do it. And uh, and and look, they, they've learned to do what they've learned to do, but they don't have the honest answers, they don't have evidence. They're not allowed to give the honest answer because their scumbag attorney will jump in. We'll jump in before. And in uh, me being a cop, I would just, my first inclination would be, no, I don't have the evidence. And if you said that, you're on a move, objection, move to strike. So, so the, what it comes down to is, like I mentioned in Government Indicted, it is the Saul Goodman defense. I know a guy who knows a guy right. who knows another guy. That's what happens. That is what's really and that's happening. that's a defense, huh? When they, say, when they say the courts have ruled, what they're saying is, I know a guy who knows a guy who knows another guy who said the Constitution does apply to you. What? It's turtles all the way down. Right. I like turtles. Cons consults in the last couple months, and I can't tell. Like half the people are saying to me, when we get to that point, they'll fill it in because they've read government indicted. It's turtles all the way down. Right. Yep. Yeah. I mean, because now you're expecting it. I mean, and once you understand the logic, right? You, you just you know what's coming. Yeah. And hey, look, we don't need a meteorologist to tell us the storm that's heading our way. <laughs> we we know where the rain, where the rain's falling, and uh, you know we have our umbrellas. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know we're we're able to counter and anticipate their non-responsiveness and uh, and their unfairness and, uh, and, all, and all the like. I mean, you know, it, the, it, it's really easy once you understand how they're not meeting their own standards. They're not right. meeting their own burdens. Um, all you have to do is keep that in mind and, and, and ask yourself at the end of all...